Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be sponsored by Easy Plant. I am so excited to share with you guys these beautiful plants that I have in my new house. I couldn't be happier with the whole watering system, the way they look, their pots, they are absolutely stunning. So plants are amazing. They allow us to connect with nature, add beauty to our spaces, and even clean the air that we breathe. My problem is keeping the plants alive which I'm sure a lot of you guys have the same problem. Easy Plant has set out to create the easiest plant to keep alive. I have this gorgeous plant in my room. It is called a cat palm. So the idea of Easy Plant plants cannot be any easier. You fill the water reservoir to the top. Once a month, check the reservoir. Refill it only when it's empty and the soil is dry, guys. That's it. Once a month watering and you can keep your beautiful plants alive all month long. We are now in the girls' bathroom. They say they love coming into their new bathroom because of the way their plant makes them feel. It feels fresh in there. It's beautiful and it adds the most tenderest touch of green to their bathroom and their room. There is a 90-day guarantee and free online plant expert support should you run into any issues with your Easy Plant plant. There's free shipping right to your doorstep in awesome protective packaging that keeps your plant safe and happy. If you guys are interested in taking a look and ordering you some Easy Plants, please click the link down below in my description box. And thank you so much, Easy Plant, for sponsoring today's video. So back to the video, I have so much laundry that I need to do every single day. I have a habit of letting my laundry pile up, but once it is nice and clean, my other habit is letting it sit there and not putting it away. So I have a couple of bad habits when it comes to my laundry, but when I do get the time and the energy to fold, clean, put away and everything, my laundry, I will get it done. So today's that day where I'm gonna be getting some laundry tackled, done, cleaned, put away and giving you guys some hopeful laundry motivation. I asked you guys recently in a poll on my Instagram, if you guys struggle where I struggle, when I'm cleaning one room in my house, you guys, my other four children, including my two school-age girls, my preschooler, and my pretty much 15-month-old toddler are completely tearing up another room in the house. How many of you guys can relate? I feel like the messes in my house are never ending. The unorganization in my house is never ending. And I feel like I can be on top of it a little bit more better than I am. You guys, but it's hard. I feel like... I'm drowning in messes sometimes. Like we have this beautiful new house and I'm still not unpacked. Plus there's messes everywhere. Plus the kids are making new messes and all they wanna do is play and not help me clean. So my poll also asked if your children pick up after themselves and how do you get them to do it? Because my girls are straight punking me and I need help teaching them to pick up after themselves and to respect me. So let me know down in the comments what are your best ways to teach your small children to learn to respect you and clean up after themselves? Because I am definitely on the struggle bus and I feel like mama needs to put her foot down and show the girls who's boss. Yes, if you are wondering, Maxwell is obsessed with the new plants on the floor and loves to dig in them and take all the soil out. And he's now in the era of taking the soil out and eating it and doing whatever else with it. I don't know where it's going or what he's doing, but I found soil in the toilet. I found soil in his mouth. I found soil all over the carpet, on the stairs, everywhere. So he's a little obsessed with the easy plants right now. You guys, Look at all of these pajamas and look how many of them are mismatch. Like, I don't understand. Socks, silverware, and pajamas. Always lost in this house. Let me know down in the comments if you're on the same page.
during this video, I am planning on hanging up some pictures in the master bedroom, my bedroom, doing a little bit of a refresh in here. Since I moved in, I haven't really been able to decorate except for what you see up on the back wall of the headboard wall. And I need to put a mirror up by my dresser. I need to put some decor up on the big dresser. And I also want to head into the little girl's room and do a couple of projects in there. Not everything is done. There's still boxes. There's still things that need to be unpacked and organized. So please don't judge me and be nice in the comments. I've been loving these verb bars that I found at Grocery Outlet for less than $5 for a pack of like 30 of them or something. Actually, Marcus found them. They're caffeinated and they're super yummy. I got the flavored cookie dough and then I've been also drinking, you guys already know, my Alani sticks, the powder sticks and the cans themselves. They literally keep me going all day long. It's the next day. Welcome back. I want to give you guys a little Easter haul. This is everything that I got from Home Goods. And you guys, I made out at Walmart. Walmart has the cutest Easter stuff for little girls right now. Maxwell's basket is going to come when I kind of go, come as I go and shop as I go because I didn't see a lot and too much cute Easter stuff for boys at Walmart, but they have the cutest stuff for little girls. So I am going to show you guys. So this is a super cute Easter basket. Let me take everything out. Easter basket that I got for from Walmart now these are eight dollars and 98 cents I already have the kids allotted Easter baskets they're pottery barn wicker baskets that are round with a big handle and they're white if you guys remember I use them year after year and I'm going to use them again this year I think but I got this to show you guys just how cute this was in detail they have a purple one and a pink one. And again, they're $8.98. I'm just gonna use this somewhere else in the house for like toys or something. But for Easter, I'm not gonna use this. But this is such a cute Easter basket. 
Look how adorable this little Easter cup is. This is from Walmart also. This is so cute, you guys. It's got little star shimmer stars. So adorable in a metallic purpley pink top. Um, they have their $1 bubble wands with little Easter bunnies on top. Super classic. Can't get any more Easter and classic than this. cute toy slingshot for three dollars how adorable it's made out of real wood i love the colors it comes with two little balls for three dollars you definitely cannot beat this of course they have their one dollar frisbees it's got a little rainbow on it they have their annual easter pringles for a dollar i got six of these for each of my six kiddos And then I got a $5 Easter Bucket Beach Fun, a collapsible bucket. You just open it like this. This is gonna be perfect for beach days, vacations, playing outside. And then it comes with a shovel, a little seashell, and a mint blue crab. And then when the kids aren't playing with them, super easy storage. They just collapse like that. Super easy storage. And this was only $5. Birthday cake Eos chapstick for the girls. I got another bubble. This is ice cream bubbles for $1. Oh, and the bucket also came with this shovel. So there's five pieces all together. So this, this, and the two little seashell and crabs. Such a good deal. Okay, and then I got these Easter baskets. These are $3 from Target. And I feel like I couldn't get any cuter. It couldn't get any cuter than this. For $3, these are great quality. These are little baskets. And look at the mint one. And then the baby pink ones. You guys, when they're done with Easter, after I put everything in here, they'll be able to take these to the beach. They'll be able to take them on vacation. They can put their stuffed animals and crayons and coloring books, anything they want in here because they're super durable. And for $3, you can't beat it. And the best part is they come with these little charms. Look, little charms. You can use them in your Crocs or you can use them in the basket holes. So I just quickly wanted to show you guys everything that we got. Oh, and then I got this pastel blend of M&Ms. These are like $10, but these will be super good for making cookies, just grabbing on the go. You can decorate Rice Krispies with these. Super pretty colors and who doesn't love an M&M? I try to figure out who I am. Not sure what I'm doing here And the days don't work out the way I thought they would And before you there was no one This is a girl's Ikea dresser. We are missing a button. Um, I'll show you guys the rest of the room once, or not a button, a dresser pull. I'll show you guys the rest of the room once the whole room is cute, organized, tidy, and aesthetically pleasing. Um, I still have boxes in here that need to be unpacked and there are still things that need to be put away. So I bought a couple of things to kind of get me going in this room from Home Goods. So I'm gonna see if they work in here. It's super cute, adorable things for a little girl's room. And I can't wait to show you guys the final reveal once it's all done and put together. But for now, we are gonna do a little sneak peek and get the dresser nice and put together.
I got this cork board. It is so pretty. I couldn't pass it up. It was like completely our vibe and our style. I got it for $12.99 from Home Goods. And it kind of reminds me of a rainbow a little bit, but I think it's so, so pretty. I think it's perfect for the boho chic look that is in the girls' room. I think it matches perfect with the accessories that are in here. And this one here, this vase right here is from Goodwill. These pompous grass are from Hobby Lobby years ago. This little babe cave sign was on their door, but it fell off. So I think it's perfect right here. This is also from Hobby Lobby. I don't buy anything from Hobby Lobby unless it's 50% off, which is, I don't think anything there that's full price is worth it unless you're super in love with it and just have to have it and it's not on sale. Go ahead and grab it, but kind of a rule of thumb for everyone who knows about Hobby Lobby. Don't shop there unless it's 40 to 50% off or more. I got these really pretty thumbtacks from both of them from Home Goods for $2.99. And they're in really pretty cohesive glass bottles. And I feel like they'll look perfect with these pictures that I picked out um, to go on the girls' corkboard. Of course, we have to snag a picture of mom and put it up in there. This is so perfect. I'm so in love with this. We have all sorts of different pictures in here. From cousin pictures to solo pictures, sister pictures, brother pictures, friend pictures. There's a picture of Bronze and um, Layla. There's brother Grayson, Layla, and Shook when they were little. Me and Layla. Sister pics, Layla and Shook at our old house. Shukri Marie, cousin Jordan, and Layla when they were babies. So precious, such precious memories and Layla's little Valentine's name tag, and then a sweet picture of Layla on her first birthday. I still need to add pictures. Okay, everything's coming together. I did pick up this little magazine rack from Home Goods for $7.99 years ago. It was $7.99, it's probably like $9.99 now, but I have three really pretty aesthetically pleasing little girl books for any room, for any sweet little girl. I have the pink umbrella. And Flora the Flamingo, which is so pretty. Now these books are books that are just gonna be out to be pretty. We can read them once in a while when it's bedtime, but they're not gonna be books for the girls to look at every day and read every day. Literally, I kinda just bought them to read them a few times and to put them up for aesthetic reasons. And they look great in here. I got this for the girls when I think Shook was two and Layla was one. And it's such a cute book you guys if you guys ask the girls anything about coco chanel they know all about her they know what she does they know what she's about they know what she made they know what she invented it's just a really sweet book and look how cute it looks so win win there they know everything about coco chanel they're really pretty out on display if you need any display books so i'm 
done with their dresser. I wiped it down. I got some decor going. Um, I am so, so excited and so eager to show you guys a final room reveal for them. They're turning into young ladies and their room is so big girl, you guys. It's such a vibe and I'm obsessed with it. Like if I could live in here with them, I would.